Aloha and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World, the only show in Honolulu where we delve into veganism and the plant-based diet. Coming to you live from the beautiful studio uh, in downtown Honolulu. We are filming from uh, Think Tech Hawaii and a huge, huge mahalo to everyone here who makes shows like this um, happen. So thank you very much to the team here at Think Tech. Um, I am very excited to introduce my guest today all the way from down to earth, one of my favorite, favorite shops on the island, stores on the island, down to earth community outreach assistant, Amber Brennan. Hi, Hi. Amber. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha. And welcome to the show. Thank you so much for taking the time out to join us today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of your store. And I'm sure a lot of people are here on the island, of which you have now six stores. Yes. You just opened a new one in Kailua. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. recently. Was it last month or? It was this month, this actually. Month. August 10th was our relocation. Great. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So that's number six. <laughs> yes. Down to earth taking over Hawaii. We try. Which is a good thing. <laughs> you know what? I, um, I know that down to earth is you know, incredibly well known here on the island, but there are still some people who haven't actually gone into the store, taken a look around or, you know, tried some of the food from the food bar. So I do have to tell you that I love the store. And I was, when I was thinking about having you on the show, how do we describe Down to Earth? Hmm. Yeah, Down to Earth is, um, well, we're an organic and natural retailer. Mm -hmm. So we have, we're kind of a health food vibe. But we're Definitely. also so much more than that. You know, we have cosmetics, mm -hmm. we have a full deli, bakery. Um, in our newer stores, like the Kailua, Pro Ridge, and Kaka'ako mm -hmm. stores, we actually have an expanded deli. So we got Asian wok bowls. We have vegetarian sushi, which is, wow. I just had some right before <laughs> coming here. Um, we just have a lot of a lot of really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Awesome, <laughs> yes. So I have titled today's show, mm -hmm. and it, it is What's New at Down to Earth. We've got so much to talk about. Yes. And the subtitle is Keeping Honolulu Organic and Natural. And as you said, Down to Earth isn't just about food. You, I call it a vegan's heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is for someone like me. But it, it doesn't have, you don't have to be a vegan to enjoy you know, a store like that, really. Anyone can pop in, take a look around, try some of the items. Mm -hmm. And it, it actually is not 100% vegan. Right. right. You, do, you do also sell, we sell vegetarian dairy. or dairy. Yeah. Yes. Um, and we also sell honey. Okay. Um, but those are the two only animal mm -hmm. products that we sell. Yeah. So. And very, very clearly marked. I think that's yes. one thing that I really appreciate mm -hmm. as a vegan shopping there. It's very, yeah, very clearly marked, as is the food bar, the gorgeous deli bar. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, um, my hat off to you for that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, Amber, you have given us some slides that we're going to take a look at. And so these photos are just mouth-watering. So let's take a look at the first slide that you've brought in. Yum. <laughs> that doesn't that really doesn't look vegan does it right <laughs> which is great That's, this is a yeah. great thing so tell us a little bit about these little sandwiches or rolls so these are two of our new sandwiches we sort of premiered them with our Kailua store so the one on the top is our chicken parmesan or chicken parmesan if mm. you will um, so we use a garden patty which we also sell in the store okay um, our house made marinara sauce and you can opt mm. for vegan or dairy cheese mm -hmm. um, the bun is vegan so no worries there great um, and then on the bottom it's a similar but a little different we have our meatball sub which mm -hmm. is Excellent. My dad's favorite, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can see a lot of people would get into something like that. I mean, who wouldn't? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Like stuff like this is so great because it's um, good for people who are transitioning or people who are yeah. looking to try healthier options or add more healthier options into their diet. So stuff like that, that looks exactly like the real thing. For me, it's a no, no brainer to support. So. Yeah, that's great. They must be selling quite well. Yes, as far as I know. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let's have a look at another one. Then. Okay. <laughs> mm. uh, so these are our new smoothie bowls. Mm -hmm. We actually have four, but one of them is not pictured. Um, okay. So on the top, the orange one is our lehua bowl. And um, all of these are actually inspired by nature in Hawaii. Yes, so, they, they look very, you look at it and it's like, 
screaming Hawaii somehow. <laughs> it's beautiful the way it's been um, presented there. Thank you. Um, yes. Yeah, so the lehua blossom we know is one of our um, most beautiful flowers here. Um, the middle one is our makai bowl, which means uh, ocean in Hawaiian. Okay. So you can see their blue spirulina sorbet, and you, it kind of looks like a little wave on the sand there. Yes. You know, yes. kind of cute. Beautiful. And then the last one on the end is our mauka bowl, which means mountain. Mm. And this was inspired by the mountains, and it has um, like the little chia seeds look a little bit like a path, you know, in the mountain when you're yes. hiking. And then um, the green comes from spirulina. Okay, so, so that's, that's got a lot of healthy stuff in it, for yeah. sure. And the one on the bottom? The Amber? one on the bottom is actually my coworker and I were playing around with some new toppings. <laughs> so this is, that one's not on the menu, but okay. all those toppings are available exclusively at Down to Earth. What are the toppings? They look like <laughs> edible flowers, but I'm not something dried or <laughs> dehydrated? Yeah, so the, um, the dried fruit is actually pitaya, pitaya chips. They've been dehydrated. They, okay. They kind of stick in there pretty mm -hmm. easily. Um, it and looks then, very dragon fruity, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful colors there. Um, and then we have our sparkling amber lily koi um, flakes. That's the little uh, yellow beautiful. bits there. And then the rest is a mix of uh, edible flowers. So we have rose petals, and mm -hmm. those blue ones are actually um, color changing pea blossoms. So really? if you add them to your, like, say, your lemonade, right. and you, it, it changes color with citrus. So it becomes from blue to purple. It's really beautiful. Wow. <laughs> and do you actually sell those uh, dried flowers or dehydrated flowers separately at the store? Yeah, we sell them um, really? individually packed. Yeah. In, mm -hmm. um, they're by a brand called Suncor Foods, okay. and they're actually exclusive to down to earth. You can't get them anywhere else on the island. Really? Yep. Great. I'm <laughs> going to have to go in and have a... Have a little shop around on the weekend. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Um, the first bowl, what did you say it was? Orange? Uh, the lehua bowl. Lehua bowl. Mm -hmm. And what was that again? That is our, um, there's goji berries inside. Yeah. So nice. everything, we tried to make these like superfoods. Mm. So we got the goji I'm berries, sure they... blue spirulina, uh -huh. and the green spirulina. Great. And Amber, how, about how much do you sell these gorgeous bowls for? These, I believe it's. Maybe it's under eight dollars for uh -huh. sure. I, I don't know the yep. exact price off the top of my head, yeah. but it's very affordable. So that's like yeah. that really literally is a meal in itself. Like oh. you wouldn't really need anything <laughs> yeah. to go with that. It's pretty filling. Yeah. Yes, gorgeous. <laughs> I love the colours and you know, they do say that people eat with their eyes, so something, you know, as pretty as that, which is also very, very good for you and healthy for you is amazing. It's very Instagrammable. <laughs> yes, it is. Do you have an Instagram um, yeah, for down to earth. For down to earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's down to earth hi. Down to earth hi. What yeah. about Facebook? Are you on Facebook mm -hmm. as well? Down to earth Hawaii, I believe. Okay, yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. So you can get lots of information there, I'm sure, and see lots of more, you know, gorgeous photos of what your new items and what you're selling yeah. at the deli and stuff. Great. Mm -hmm. We also post our events on those um, Instagram and Facebook as well. So okay. if you follow us, you'll be able to. See Mm, great. What's going on? Actually, in the second half, we are going to talk about some upcoming events because you do a lot of stuff at Down to Earth. It's not only a store, which is pretty awesome. You also have cooking classes and demos, and you are going to be part of the Veg Fest, yes. which is September 21st, mm -hmm. coming up soon. Yeah. That's huge. I was here, I happened to be here um, last year to, sit, to visit oh. the Veg Fest, and it, it, just so amazing and so, such a good. Um, bunch of people come out. Yes. It's getting very popular, mm -hmm. I hear. I think this is our fourth year, and Down uh -huh. to Earth has been a major sponsor every year, so we're awesome. very excited. Yeah, well, we, we will talk more about that in the second half. Um, let's have a look at one more of your slides. Yay. <laughs> this is the Kailua Grand Opening, yes. is that correct? Mm -hmm. So the, the top photo is actually um, Kailua Road. Okay. So this is actually the former Macy's building. Um, I, I know you, oh, okay. you're not from here, but it's kind of an iconic, you know, everyone knows, oh, the old really? Macy's building uh -huh. in Kailua. So. Wow. Yeah, so we're excited to be there. And then the bottom photo is our parking lot entrance. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And that, yes, this is the one that, that just opened. So great mm -hmm. to have 
Down to Earth on that side of the island. Yeah. I teach uh, cooking demos at Down to Earth. I'm not sure if you you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> News to me. <laughs> but a lot of my friends are actually living in Kailua, oh, and they nice. used to always say, you know. When's the down to earth coming, or you know, when when are we going to get some down to earth cooking classes on in that area? So I think mm -hmm. that's great. Yeah. How long <laughs> have you been at down to earth working there now? Actually, I just started in March. Wow, but I was a long time customer before I yes, joined the team. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you were. <laughs> and yeah. what what do your duties include at down to earth? So um, I'm on the community outreach team, which is actually just. Two people. <laughs> we're a small but mighty team, as we like to say. Mm -hmm. But um, so we're in charge of all the events, um, like our beloved uh, cooking classes. <laughs> we love to have uh, guest teachers come in and teach, awesome. um, you know, wellness and cooking demos and mm -hmm. things like that. Awesome. So yeah, we do that, and we also well, do we ours. will go into more of that, mm -hmm. Amber, for sure. But thank you. Let's take yeah. a quick break. Stay okay. tuned, and we'll be back for more down to earth and what's new and happening here on the island. Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, host of Beyond the Lines. I was the head coach for the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we we're fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my book, which is also titled Beyond the Lines, and it's about leadership, creating a superior culture of excellence, achieving and sustaining success, and finding greatness. If you're a student, parent, sports or business person, and want to improve your life, and the lives of people around you. Tune in and join me on Mondays at 11 a.m. as we go beyond the lines on Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Hello, everybody. My name is Walter Kawai. I, uh, I'm your host for our monthly uh, live streaming video uh, entitled Ukulele Songs of Hawaii, where I bring on guests. We enjoy talking story about the music industry here in Hawaii, uh, sometimes going back uh, 50 decades, if possible and uh, always having some good fun talking with entertainers. We're here located at Think Tech Hawaii, downtown Honolulu at the Pioneer Plaza building and uh, in their studios. And so join me next month for Ukulele Songs of Hawaii. Welcome back to Lillian's Vegan World and welcome also back uh, Amber, who is from Down to Earth, and I'm so excited to talk about Down to Earth. Everyone's a fan of that place. So what's new at Down to Earth? We're going to go through some upcoming events there, Amber, because there's a lot of stuff going down there, and lots of um, items and new things that we're going to do a bit of show and tell with. <laughs> I do want to show a couple of my slides, if you don't mind. Let's sure. have a look at the first one. Oh, Amber, this is oh. your gorgeous... <laughs> Um, lattes. Yes. Yes, please do tell us about these. Well, Beautiful. These, thank you. These are actually our new superfood lattes. We, we kind of premiered them all at the same time with all those other sandwiches and bowls. But we have a matcha chia latte um, with your omega 3s Yum. in there. Um, then our cacao coconut latte. Delicious. Um, and then we have our beet latte, which is super pretty and cute yeah. but also really good for our circulation as well you know we try to right. get those super foods yes. um, and then the bottom one is our ginger um, our ginger latte so it's uh -huh. really really uh, oh ginger turmeric actually ginger turmeric yeah what a gorgeous combination and how healthy yes. is that like you've got lots of antioxidants going in there mm -hmm. when you say latte you're mm -hmm. uh, meaning that they're made with milk yeah so what kind of milk options do you have there yeah. So uh, you can choose your milk. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, we have cow's milk, but we also do have almond milk, mm -hmm. uh, macadamia nut milk, soy milk, of course, um, and I think a few more, but those awesome. are the main ones. Yeah, yeah. so you can customize your, your own latte. They yes. look beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, they, you look at them and think that they're going to be really good for you, just off the bat. Beautiful. Um, Amber, I did, at Down to Earth, I did have one of my very popular cheese demos, cheese making demos yes. where I made um, cheeses from cashews. So the next slide I'm going to show you is uh, the, I was actually featured on the, the cover of the Crave magazine wow. in June. Mm, looks really and good. And I did, yeah, at, at, down, <laughs> at Down to Earth I did uh, do some follow-up cheese making demos there to coincide with this. But 
Yes, so Crave called me the cheese whiz, whiz. <laughs> <laughs> vegan chef produces cheesy dishes without dairy. It's kind Cute. of cheesy, but <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I am actually doing some more cooking demos privately at Harbour Court. And I think the next slide um, is, oh, this is my vegan brunch that I'm going to do at Down to Earth. So I, I, I've, I have made this one the um, American four-course vegan brunch, which mm. I thought might be nice. So what we're going to learn in that cooking demo at Down to Earth will be a nice tofu scramble with some kale. I am doing a baked bean dish with a Japanese twist. Ooh, so we'll have to wait. wait and see how that turns out. Um, some beautiful scallop potatoes. Mm. I love these things. Looks great already. But you don't really <laughs> see them often on menus. Yeah. And they're actually, yeah, really easy to make and look very pretty on the plate too. Mm -hmm. And I am doing the traditional uh, pancakes with a blueberry compote and mm. some vegan butter. So that's going to be the American vegan brunch, which I'm looking forward to. And that will be held on September 11th at Down to Earth. So do get your tickets from Eventbrite. You can also get any information about any of my upcoming events on Lillian Vegan. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and I do have a website all under Lillian Vegan. So lots of more, lots more information there. Down to Earth actually holds lots of cooking demos, and you have, mm -hmm. you know, uh, instructors from all over the world teaching, you know, food and cuisine from all over the world. So we're very excited about that. Um, yes. Like you were saying earlier, we're not just a store. We try to be, you know, a community building, mm -hmm. you know, team. So we're really excited to be able to offer. We offer Indian cooking classes. We have your vegan brunch coming mm -hmm. up, which I am so excited for. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> we have. Um, we also have a fascia rolling class every month. Um, you know, you just roll out your fascia. Um, yeah, it's kind of amazing. So we, we try to focus on you know complete wellness. Yes, um, helping people transition from where wherever they're at mm -hmm. to a plant based right. lifestyle. Right. Yeah. I did notice every time I come in for the cooking demos, I notice there's a lot of yoga mats. Yeah. <laughs> in the kitchen studio in the community room. So I, mm -hmm. I was guessing that you are doing. You, you do have um, some classes. I've seen you have. What, what are they? Not yoga, but. Um, that would be our fascia, the fascia class. class. Mm -hmm. oh. But we do have a yoga, a body weight conditioning class okay. coming up. Uh -huh. yeah. And all of these classes, how long do they go for? Is it 90 minutes? Or? Usually it's uh, an hour to an hour and a half, depending okay. on the teacher. Mm -hmm. The cooking class is normally 90 minutes, mm -hmm. I guess. But that's yeah. awesome. And you are doing something very exciting soon next month. The Veg Fest, yes. which I can't wait to go and see. And that's on September 21st. It's mm -hmm. huge. I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of people coming to this this oh, yeah. year. It seems Just, to be getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, definitely right. does awesome. get bigger every year. And so what is Down to Earth planning to do there on Ooh. this gorgeous day? So we are going to go for a more local style this mm -hmm. year. We're going to okay. be offering um, all vegan, of course. Everything is vegan okay. at Veg Fest. Um, we're going to be offering a local moco. Mm. Which is, um, have you had a local mocha yes, before? Yes, I have okay. actually. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's really good. We have our homemade gravy, our tofu Yum. scramble. Um, We're going to use a bit of rice or brown yeah. rice with our Beyond Meat patty, which is oh, really okay. yummy and getting more popular. That should go days. down well. Yeah. And then we also have a hamburger steak plate, mm -hmm. which is kind of like the Japanese, like okazu style. Mm -hmm. So we have our mac salad with the brown rice and then our mushroom gravy on the Beyond Yum. patty. And yeah. all of these will be available available for purchase at the Veg Fest. Yes, at okay. our Down to Earth booth. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And you are doing cooking demos there. I know that mm -hmm. Chef Paul Anishi, who is a, a good friend of mine, will be yeah. um, <laughs> doing something there. What's he going to be doing? He's actually our um, cooking demonstrator yeah. that day. He's okay. going to be cooking his version of the Loco Moco. Awesome. I actually just tasted it yesterday. It's Phenomenal, yeah, so. I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait to try it. Awesome. So the first hundred people in that um, cooking demo mm -hmm. is actually going to get to try it as well. Oh, wow. A yeah. hundred people. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That's very generous. Yes. So get in early. <laughs> and we can get all of this information about the cooking demo times for the Veg Fest on your website or? You can go on the Veg Fest website. Oh, okay. um, I'm not sure it's completely up yet, but mm -hmm. it will be soon. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, Let's have a look at the next slide, Amber. This is another one. So Ooh. at Down to Earth, I'm doing the American brunch. And 
At Harbour Court, where I do my private cooking demos, I am actually doing a four-course vegan Japanese brunch. Oh, my God. I did do a Japanese demo. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my first one at Down to Earth a few months ago. And it proved to be quite popular. Yeah. It, it's very obvious that Japanese food is uh, very loved here in Honolulu. Mm -hmm. So that's the vegan Japanese brunch. Um, Great. As most people know, I spent 30 years in Japan, and 20 of which I was working as a chef, mm. um, a vegan chef there. So Japanese food is my, my thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it was really good the last time I Thank tried your you. food. <laughs> yeah, so a, a nice, healthy Japanese vegan mm -hmm. brunch. Do you have any Japanese vegan in your delis at, or mm. Japanese inspired? Well, you must have. Kind of, in a way. Just we, we try to have a lot of local dishes. Um, right now we have some teriyaki tofu. I know that's not traditionally Japanese, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like a mixing pot. <laughs> Yum. You know, we have a bunch of different, um, you know, there's pickled vegetables. There's, um, yeah, it kind of depends mm -hmm. too on the day. But so much stuff. To mixed bag. <laughs> now, Amber, we have to introduce these um, items that you brought in for a little bit of show and tell. Yes. From <laughs> Down to Earth, vegan bacon slices. I tell you, I'm going to turn this around if you don't mind because I want you to see what it looks like. It, it actually has like sinew, a sinew sort of effect going yeah. on. That to me looks so like the real thing. Yep. Incredible. I just tried it for the first time recently and I was kind of creeped out to eat it. <laughs> I'm also because it vegan. looks so real, yes. yeah. Yeah, and I, I haven't eaten, you know, meat in five years. And I looked at that and I was just like, wait, what? I, I don't know if I can eat that. <laughs> I know, incredible. And these, these are, so not, no preservatives, no trans mm. fats, non-GMO, soy protein contains no animal factor, of course. Made primarily from the, so this one is made from the soybean protein. Mm. The other one that you brought in, Amber, yeah. if you want to hold that up for us, is the shrimp. vegan shrimp. Ooh, and this Turn is it around. Again, it this like. is just incredible. <laughs> um, this one is primarily made from the konyaku, mm -hmm. which is a type of potato. Yeah. Um, so you, you did say that it has that kind of, what kind of texture did you? It's like very shrimpy. Shrimpy. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> else a, to say. Yeah, yeah. well, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So if you're transitioning or, you know, trying to eat more plant-based foods or just, you know, looking for healthier options, mm -hmm. these products, I must say, I would support 100%. I think they're amazing if they can yeah. get you off, you know, eating the real thing, if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Definitely try some of these from Down to Earth. And they're about nine ninety nine a pack. Yes. And they, they will be in the frozen food mm -hmm. section at Down to Earth. So yeah. you can get that and you can enjoy some hop tea with these, <laughs> which yes. is actually, what is it, a non-alcohol... So this is a tea, a tea, but, but it has hops in it. Yeah. So it's essentially a non-alcoholic beer. Yeah. Does it taste like beer? Yeah. It does. It's kind of weird. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. We have, um, this is the one that has no caffeine, because um, okay. I'm going to drink it later and I'm not drinking caffeine right now. Okay. But we have a green tea, a black tea. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lemon flavor. It's just really good. Wow. We also have like awesome. true beers, mm -hmm. um, non-alcoholic beers okay. at our Kailua location too. Excellent. Yeah. That's that's great. I'm, I have to try one of these and this is around like under four dollars I guess. Yep. And interesting that you said there's no caffeine in these which is nice so you mm -hmm. can enjoy them at dinner and you know not worry about having to stay up all night. Mm -hmm. This awesome. one actually makes you go to sleep a little bit. It's kind of calming. Oh, really? chamomile. Well, the chamomile. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's great. So there's yeah. a few things to definitely consider. Perfect for Aloha Friday, Pauhana. Yes. <laughs> and then you've brought in these uh, wonderful bags. Yes. Tell us a little bit about these. So these are our special bags for our Kailua store. Mm -hmm. um, we debuted them for our grand opening. Uh -huh. um, and we have a kappa artist who makes a kappa specific to each store. Wow. And um, she, our graphic designer actually took elements of the kappa and mm -hmm. place them throughout the design. So here we have the Lanikai uh -huh. waves. 
Um, these there's mountains in here. You can't really see. Yeah, it. I, I, I can yes because I'm closer <laughs> to it. But yeah, very detailed artwork there. Yeah, we we tried to tell a story of each store and their location. So wonderful. We really loved how it came out, and of course, I'm wearing our the down to earth yes t-shirt. You can buy this shirt also. Mm -hmm. Kailua. You can't really see. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's the cut from the Kailua yeah. store. So uh -huh. these are only available at Kailua store, okay. but in the future we hope to have. Mm -hmm. um, products for each store. Nice. Yeah. And these ones here, Amber, I think are on sale at the moment. They're mm -hmm. down from $21.99 to $16.99. Mm -hmm. So good time to grab one. And, yes. you know, it's great to, to use bags that you're not going to throw away yes. each time you go shopping. So definitely, um, yeah, support down to earth. Grab a bag while you're shopping yeah. to put all your goodies in, <laughs> your non-alcoholic beer. These things I really can't get over. So <laughs> I hope that people do go out and, and try them. And Down to Earth is an amazing place. Thank you. So thank you so much for, for coming on the show, Amber. <laughs> Thanks for and having joining me. us. <laughs> so what if you could give um, say something to people out there who have never been to Down to Earth, mm. please give them a little message. Oh, wow. Well, so I would say just come in and check us out. We Most of our customers aren't vegetarian even. We just have a lot of options for healthy foods. Um, you know, fun foods like this. Yes. Um, I always say these are not for vegetarians or vegans. They're for people who just want to try something new, familiar, but that, you know, it's a little healthier. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, come and check us out. Yeah, definitely. And what you said is, is exactly right. They may not be, you know, um, for vegans or vegetarians, but people who are, there's so many people out there who are really trying, you know, trying new things and healthy op options. Think about the Beyond Burgers and the oh Impossible gosh. Burgers that are just selling out like crazy. Mm -hmm. And then was it KFC that recently yes. came out with the chicken, fried chicken, fried chicken the plant-based fried chicken, and there was like a one-kilometer um, line of I people heard. waiting to get in to buy this vegan, these, this vegan chicken, so from KFC. I heard it it's, sold out in an hour. Yeah, it's crazy. incredible, yeah. <laughs> In Atlanta, I, no less. <laughs> yes, no. I, I, I think it's incredible, and it's a sign that the, you know the times are changing, and people are looking for different things to try. And honestly, Down to Earth has a huge array. You can even buy junk food at Down to Earth. Oh, believe me, I yes. do. <laughs> yeah, and vegan. Not that I'm saying, and I myself don't eat junk food every day, but mm -hmm. every now and again, for sure, I go crazy for the, the savory junk food there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very into the um, the chickpeas, the, oh. the the like little cheesy snacks made yes. from garbanzo beans. Mm -hmm. They're amazing, but stuff like that, I think, in moderation, you've got to you know enjoy yourself yourself and still have fun when you eat, Absolutely. and just take it easy. You know, don't do it on a daily basis or too much. You do want to get the, the fresh, you know, whole foods in. But yeah, that's our motto actually: is just love life, love life, eat have eat healthy, be happy. I love it. That, that should be everyone's motto, actually. Right. <laughs> and on that note, um, thank you so much, Amber, for joining us. Good luck with all your upcoming events. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on September 11th for my uh, next cooking demo with the American Vegan Brunch. And to everyone else, have a wonderful long weekend and Labor Day weekend. Uh, see you in a couple of weeks for more of Lillian's Vegan World. Aloha. Aloha.